First at noon, working the latest in the aftermath of the killing of Osama bin Laden. In just over an hour, President Obama plans to visit Ground Zero to pay tribute to the victims of 9-11 just days after bin Laden was killed. We want to go to New York City right now and check in with Drew Levinson, live in New York at Ground Zero. hard hit on 9-11. He's expected here at Ground Zero in about an hour and a half, and it will mark a significant point in history as the president meets with the families of those who died on 9-11. Engine 54 in Midtown Manhattan was President Obama's first stop on his visit to New York. The firehouse lost 15 men on 9-11. Firefighter Christopher Santora was with Engine 54 for only two months when he was killed on 9-11. His parents and other 9-11 relatives are meeting privately today with the president at Ground Zero. It's a very somber place to be and I see this as a cemetery and this was where my son died. So for me, this will always be a cemetery. The president will place a wreath at the memorial site where nearly 3,000 people lost their lives. It will be a moment to reflect on the heroism of the victims and to mark the death of Osama bin Laden, mastermind of the 9-11 attacks. The White House says the president is down here at Ground Zero today because he wants to share the victory of finally getting bin Laden with some of the people hardest hit in the terror attacks. Michael Burke lost his brother Billy, a firefighter who died in the North Tower. He was killed trying to rescue office workers. Nearly 10 years later, the pain is still fresh, but there's also relief. I know nothing's going to bring Billy back, but it's still, it's a great feeling of, of elation, actually. Uh, it's a feeling that this order has been restored to the world. The president last visited Ground Zero during the presidential campaign. The White House says he's determined to keep politics out of today's events to make this a time for healing. Some people may call this closure, but there are many families who say they will never have closure. But it certainly ends a very ugly chapter of their lives. Live at Ground Zero in New York, I'm Drew Levinson. Now back to you.